I just love coming down here. It's so beautiful. These clouds are just hanging around, kind of masking the mountainsides. And there's lots of eagles flying about. And Nina loves coming down here too. I've always loved working with wood and I had the idea to go down to the river and bring home some chunks of driftwood and see what I could turn them into. When I cut the wood open, it showed really beautiful dark grain and really nice curves. Uh, these were cut from the bottom of a stump, so there's all kinds of swirling lines in the grain of the wood and I thought, this is, uh, I gotta show this grain off, this is just beautiful. I've been inspired by the beautiful animals of the West Coast in British Columbia for a long time and uh, orca whales are very beautiful, powerful animals and why not start with an orca? First I cut the outline of the orca with some plywood. This is what I would attach all of the driftwood to. The hardest part was finding a way to arrange the chunks of driftwood to create the shape of the orca. That was, that took a long time and a lot of fine tuning the pieces of wood to fit together. Once, once it came together, I think it looks really beautiful and I'm pretty proud of what I did. The driftwood looks cool because it's not perfect. It's, you know, it's got cracks and uh, it's got irregular shapes, but that's what I think adds to the appeal. It's kind of uh, rugged and worn and it has character. I wanted to keep that character shown in the final piece. It's almost like a three-dimensional piece because it jumps out of the wall. It kind of is sculpture-like and uh, has, ver has relief because it's not all the same thickness. So it has these different layers, which I think add to it because it's more than just two-dimensional art. I think it's bordering on 3D. Each piece of artwork is unique because the wood changes with each one, so no two orcas are the same. And I plan to continue making some more and selling some.